Cancer. God said, welcome back. Let's see what's on and popping with Cancer. Okay? Cancer, remember, I could be picking up a new The Cross Watcher or a third party, okay? You know, meaning anybody that comes in so that wants to know about Cancer, that's interested in you or anybody that's trying to butt in your business too, okay? It could be anybody, even a person that I'm picking up around you, okay? Flip the rules if you need to as well, okay? So let's see. This jumped up, but I haven't even shuffled. Mineira. What does Cancer need to hear right now at this moment? What is Cancer's overall energy right now? What is Cancer's overall energy? A lot of problems, a lot of fights, a lot of arguments, a lot of disagreeing. You know, there's a house full of chaos here. Somebody might be stealing money from your house here or using you for money. Whatever it is. But I feel like you've been trying to do yourself and love yourself. And every time that you do, all hell breaks loose here in a house, the palace of swords. It's like you can't do yourself. You can't, you know, walk around. You can't um, nurture yourself. Whatever you do is wrong. Whatever, whatever the fuck this person is, they're very, very selfish. Very selfish, very like, you know, controlling and a son of a bitch is what I'm picking up here. You know, money's coming out of your house for some of you, Cancers. They're stealing inside your own house. It could be your person, your husband, your wife, your kids, your parents, whatever it is, a friend. But they're stealing money out of your house while you're trying to make your money to meet and to uh, make men's. Oh, God, are you serious? You know make ends meet but there's a lot of chaos going on here it's like one day somebody's good and one day somebody's bad it's like there's a lot of arguments here disagreeing not seeing eye to eye you're trying to nurture yourself this person won't let you whoever it is let me see it's like i feel like you've given up on love here cancer you don't want no love yeah there's secrets there's hidden secrets inside your home but there's hidden secrets somewhere else here that you don't know nothing about they're lying to you. They lie a lot to you. It's like they're doing some things that they're not supposed to be doing and, you know, a lot of things. And they're lying about it. If they're sneaking around a lot. If there is a past person you were dealing with, they're trying to come back into your energy. They're watching you. It's like they're, they have one sword down and all the swords up. It's like they're looking back to see. They're reminiscing about the past here. Or somebody's reminiscing about the past here. You are cancer. You might be trying to find out about past secrets or past hidden things that somebody might have told you about, but you're you're getting to like dead ends is what I'm hearing here. Forty the picture is not puzzled up is what I'm hearing. Why is she telling me that? And why am I shuffling? Whatever. When you do things it's before a reason. Somebody here is very still, very quiet, very to themselves. They're not talking too much. It's almost like the hermit card. That hermit energy. Let me see. What else here for cancer? Cancer, you need to stay very, very grounded, okay? Because, yeah, somebody here is doing something crazy behind the scenes. And somebody here is going through it really bad. Cancer, you're waking up with premonitions. You're having nightmares. You know, I feel like you can't sleep. And when you do sleep, it's like you wake up with nightmares. You're thinking about things. There's persons sneaking around here, possibly in your home. They're taking money from your house. You're, you know, even if you tell them, take the money, they're taking more money. They're spending money. They're telling you they're spending money on something. And they're, they're spending it on something else. Possibly drugs and drinking. There's drinking here. There's drugs and there's pills. There's a lot of drugs here. I feel like whatever this person is doing, you're picking it up, but you won't say nothing, or you're watching, or you already picked it up. This person, yo, like, this person got, like, a whole crew of fucking people that they chill with or they vibe with that are all fuck-ups. There's not one in that group that is a person that's mature enough to, like, be level-headed and say, look, this is wrong. Uh, everybody here is fucked up. I don't know who this person is. But somebody here is not mature enough. Even if they're 50, 60, 70, 90, 80, they'll never mature up. 
very, very conniving energy here. They only care about themselves. They got two people here that have gone against you because this person. This came out on the fence. Yeah, it's like you want to know some things, but you do you do not want to know some things. Your money, you're trying to save money here. You possibly will be moving or transition to another place <coughs> because of the world card here. <coughs> I'm picking up probably moving out of the state, out of the country, whatever it is. I feel like you want to move. I feel like you've been trying to get away, but it's impossible at this moment. I feel like if you do, you're going to get more blessings. You're going to get more po possibilities to have, you know, better abundance, better jobs, better things, and a better life. Because this right here is a whole entire fucking fake-ass motherfucker that's living in your home or that was living in your home or that was with you. A family member, a friend, it doesn't matter. Brother, sister, cousin, what does it matter? Even your own person, your own child. Money's coming in, okay? You you're making it like you're str you're you're working on your money, okay? So you're working, you're doing your things, you're trying to get your money together. You are gonna hit that ten of pentacles. You are gonna hit that money you're looking for, and it doesn't mean richness or millionaire. You never know. But you are gonna hit your stability, okay? But you need to remove yourself from this energy right here, because this energy is like this. They will leave you out in the motherfucking cold. With those pentacles in the back, you're blind. You will be blind to those pentacles. They will leave you out in the cold. They will do themselves. They will take all your shit and not give three fucks about you. And you'll be in the street, homeless, or in a friend's house, or jumping from place to place, or God only knows where. God only knows where because this person only cares about themselves. I don't care who it is. They live in your home. This person is cold hearted like a motherfucker. It's like a bad seed. I was born. Let me see what else here for cancer. I cannot make this shit up. The hermit card. Somebody's thinking a lot here about what to do, but this person is very controlling, and you cannot let nobody control your energy. You feel me? Like, if you let somebody control your energy in some moment in times when there's fear of physical abuse, mental abuse, I can understand that. You feel me? But Enough is enough, bro. Is what she's telling me. Hasta aquí amo. Is what she's saying. We're done up to here, so she just said in Spanish. Hasta aquí amo. It's because this person is very controlling. And it's like, you think, instead of thinking, get up and do something about this person. If we already left them, it took you a long time to get out of this energy. To move on, to do your own thing, to build for yourself, to build for your stability. And it's like you're on pause right now. You're not talking to anybody. You're silent. You're giving silent treatments here. You're, you're paused. It's like I feel like more like you're not in a meditation mode. I feel like more like you're just shut down to the whole entire world. You, I don't know why there's two people that keep on coming up here. They're a problem here. They're watching your home. Be careful walking out of your home, getting in your home, getting in the car, leaving. But there's two people here watching you. And they might just sneak up into your house or in front of you or whatever it is in the neighborhood. You might have to fight them off. I'm not making shit up. She's telling me somebody here is going to either get robbed or their purse or the car, whatever it is. Be careful in your neighborhood. I don't care if your neighborhood is high class and wealthy as hell. It could happen anywhere. Let me see. Yeah. Walking away. You're going to have to send this person off. Because you've been thinking about it. But you've been thinking about it for too long. And it is the past. You thought about it very long. Too long. It's like they're coming towards your way. But it's like you do not want to hear it. Or you didn't want to hear it at some point. You want changes. You want to move forward to make changes and leave the fuckery behind you. You could be dealing here with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. My God, everybody's here. Aries, more water. More water. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. 
Virgo, Virgo, Virgo in a row. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. So you might be dealing with a strong Virgo. You got Virgo in your chart. It might be your moon, your rising, whatever in your chart. It doesn't matter. Pisces here. Mm -mm. This person's an. This person. This person does not even care about the whole their their damn family. Like this person is. Oh my God. They were born out of evil. Or somebody here is born out of evil. You got a decision to make here in the bottom of the deck with the chariot. You either go one way for your good or you stay the other way where you've been the whole time. And that's because she's telling me. Let me see. What else is here for cancer? We need it. Let's go over there somewhere. She's now she's getting pissed. I don't know why she's getting pissed. You need to meditate more. You know, you need to like, you know, have more self beliefs. You need to like talk to your guys. I feel like somebody's giving up here on their guys, their spiritual beliefs, whatever it is, but they still talk about it. You need to voice things out to spirit. You need to voice things out and what you want. Don't malice anybody here because somebody's malicing people. Look at the ten of swords in the bottom of the deck. Somebody's malicing somebody here and you don't do that. The two of pentacles came out of reverse. Whatever it was that was happening here with negotiations or money, it's going to go wrong for somebody here. The judgment card is in reverse. Guys are mad here. No wonder my ancestor was getting mad and she was flipping them cards like she was crazy. Guys are mad here. Possibly at you, Cancer. Or somebody that has to do with you. Or this person you were dealing with. But something's going to happen here. They're going to take this person down. Or whoever this person is that I'm picking up. They're going to take them down to a ton of swords. Guys are getting fed up here. Ancestors. My ancestor is, is talking in a way to me. In a mad way. Because remember, ancestors and spiritual guys and all of them. They're all teamed up together. Your guides, no my guides. Yeah, they're gonna put this person, the Ten of Swords, to suffer all the way down to the very end. Let me see what else here for cancer. We need it. There. What The Ten of Wands or the Two of Wands. Whatever this person tries to do, to move forward, to negotiate, to juggle. It's going to throw burdens all over their back. It's They're going to be carrying so many, you know, heartbreaks and shit going down because of the person that they are. It's not even about what they've done. It's the person they are, she's telling me. It's like they're looking for a way out of something here. Or you are. Somebody here's in trouble. Or is going to get in trouble here with the police. Somebody can't quite figure out something here. But it's right in front of your face. I don't know what that was about. Let me see what else here. Minera. Somebody here is going to jail. Somebody here did something and they're going to jail. And when I say jail, they're going to hit prison. They're going to do, they're going to do time. Or they're already doing time. Page of Swords. A controlling energy. An, an angry energy. A person that they come in to fuck shit up. This person is going to jail, whoever it is. Your person. They're probably locked up in prison already. You know, a family member, whoever it is. But they're going to jail. I cannot make shit up. The eight of wands. Stirring up problems everywhere. Let me see. Let me head into love here. Which I don't really like to do. But you know what I mean. Like my general reading is bringing everything out. But it's still a little bit of love here. For cancer. Let's see what's going on popping with the love thing here. Some of you don't. I'm interested but it doesn't matter. 
you be dealing with more Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I can't see a damn thing here. Let me see. Libra, um, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo. Let me see. Minera, what is here for love? Ooh. They went all down to the floor. It's like somebody don't want to hear about love. Somebody's not interested in love. Somebody want to hear it. It doesn't matter. Other people want to hear it, okay? Because somebody just dropped them cards. And it's like somebody's ancestor or guide. It's like, let me know. Somebody doesn't want to hear about love. Yeah, they're, not, they're not interested in that. Then you know what? Pause and go. Or stop the video and go. It doesn't matter. You don't have to hear this part. Let me see. Me it could be This could be past, present, or future coming in, okay? So let's see. Singles and married people. Me neither. What is cancer to know about love? There it is. Let's go. Ascending. Cupid's arrow. I like you. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> somebody likes somebody here. They're about to come your way and let you know what they like. There's an invitation coming out here or they're ready to invite you somewhere. You know, it could be a little date or whatever, but I can't. I'm laughing because the way that she's laughing in the back. They don't want to hear what if they left, they didn't hear this. So like, this is what she's saying. Like, my name is a trip. I love her. Like, she be doing some crazy shit. I can't. I can't wear her. Look, this state on the floor. Twin flame. You feel me? Like, this is, this is the shit that I love to see from my ancestors. Like whoever paused and left or whoever didn't want to hear about love, this is what came in. Ascending. Let's read it. Let's read it. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparation for union. That's the first one. Cupid's arrow, preparation for union with Cupid's arrow in the back. Have faith in love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Somebody's hesitated here. You probably met somebody already. It says, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting. Want to date? So somebody's coming in here to, you know, they're feeding you. You're feeding somebody here. It's already happening. But it's going to be like a little Cupid's arrow. It's really cute. Like a little, you know, like, I feel you, feel me. That's what I'm feeling here. Somebody's going to ascend here really, really strong. And it might be a twin flame. That you're going to meet for the first time. Or you probably met this person before and you don't even know that you're twin flame. Yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. You might be um meeting your twin flame in the next three months. Okay? And it might come to um you know a connection, a chemistry, something you've never felt before. If you feel like you've never felt this before, it feels, you know, like it's at home. It feels like you've known this before, but it feels weird at the same time. Or it feels like, oh my God, like no, and then yes, and things like that. And it feels like very, very like at home, that is your twin flame. There's other there's other signs, but I'm not going to say them all here. Somebody here is going to meet their twin flame or really your twin flame is in your life. But somebody here most definitely is looking at you, Cancer. I was going to say Scorpio. I might be dealing with a Scorpio. Look at this. So it just flew and hit my chest. Engagement ring. <laughs> Whoever left here. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Engagement ring. Somebody might come in here. It might be a twin flame. It might be a soulmate connection. It might just be anybody. You feel me? But it might be... You know, what I'm feeling is it's going to start slow and this person is going to like you, whatever. It's going to have little dates here and there, but if it's going to move very quickly, you're going to say no and then it's going to come very quickly and boom. You're going to move in together and get engaged and get married off rip is what I'm picking up here, Cancer. Very quickly, this this is going to move. You're going to be, you're going to believe in love again. That's what I'm hearing. Let me see what else here. Minera. Whoa. That's a lot. Let me take this one. Boat. <laughs> I can't. I'm laughing because my ancestor won't stop cracking up in the back. <laughs> she won't stop. She said, whoever left, they ain't going to hear it. Listen, you got Bo here. Okay, so, you know, let me read Bo. I've never read Bo before. 
it's receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues so whatever it is that you're searching for whatever it is that's bothering you whatever it is that you need closure and it's going to stop it's going to start closing little by little it's not always going to be a closure where it closes completely and you can't stop thinking about it or from time to time you don't think about it but there's going to be closure here and something that you need and that you've been wishing for and that you want whether it's romance a love or a family unit, okay? Because family is love sometimes, okay? Because family could be enemies. And the people you meet could be your family. You got lightning here, so this is going to shock you here. Whatever you find out that you've been looking for here is going to be a shock. There's going to be a transformation, a big one here, coming your way. And it's like somebody's going to give you some news here that is going to change you in some type of way. It could be good, it could be bad. But somebody's going to give you some news here that's going to change you. Paradise soulmates i can't i can't i can't <laughs> cancer i'm my bad that i'm laughing and i'm trying to hold it for whoever left this reading like missed this whole thing but i hope they do get their soulmate their twin flame whatever it is their paradise their boat whatever it is i hope they're happy i hope they ascend i hope cupid's arrow hits them real hard and they get what they want because whoever is here you better claim this love reading right here Okay, because you got a soulmate, a twin flame, and you got paradise here. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy when it comes to love. You know, a beautiful connection, a soul contract, a soul contract that you might have done with a person because twin flame is here and soulmates. When I see twin flames and soulmate, I know for a fact, for a fact, cars don't got to tell me there's a soul contract here. You know, paradise, you know, enjoying each other's company, enjoying each other, getting to know each other, you know, loving each other, agreeing with each other, having conversations, you know, whatever it is, you can talk about anything, like just enjoy yourself. Because you're going to have a lot of playfulness with this person. It's going to be like two people connecting in one, and that's what it is. The twin flames. Two souls coming together. Beautiful. Let me see. Let me pull out my cards. Leave that one in the middle because that was an extra that came out. Let me see, Mineta. This is, it could be past, present, or future. What does um, Cancer need to hear right now? Okay. I don't think Cancer wants to hear too much here of what the person was. Maybe two or three people. I don't know. She keeps not telling me, man. She's mocking in the back. Mineta, estaya tranquilita. I yes, the negra mía, but tu madre. Let me see from this deck. Anything here? One more. Okay. That's what it is. Let's see. Okay, so you got someone is going to get advice from a psychic working on you. I cannot make shit up. Wasn't there a tie spell around here somewhere? I don't remember was this reading or the other. But somebody's going to um a psychic. And not only a psychic like me a psychic like me that does work that removes voodoo that removes witchcraft that helps you heal that helps you do things i don't do bad shit people i do good things for people you know when there's something crazy going on i fix it if there's a court situation i fix it if somebody's going to jail i uh, they're not going to jail you feel me things like that someone is going to get advice from a psychic working on you somebody's working some type of witchcraft on you child abuse Okay, so somebody here might have been an abuser to your child. Okay, or you but you might have been abused since you were a child. Okay, so that's I'm gonna leave that there. I don't want to talk too much about that because you know that's a very um, tough subject and I've talked about it a lot. But you need to work on that a little bit, okay? Because it's bothering the the hell out of somebody here. Cancer, you're reading right here. You know you could have more cancer in your chart, or you're dealing with another cancer, okay? childhood traumas yeah you might have childhood traumas because of child abuse from your parents or from people in the family or from friends from bullying whatever it is but there's childhood traumas here there was child abuse here done to someone you need to work on that okay and i'm not going to tell you you're going to be fully healed because it never happens i i was a person that was um abused okay but you work on it day by day with yourself only yourself Okay, and you get a support team, whether it's one person or your damn self, and you work on it little by little. 
and I promise you it gets a little bit better. It doesn't heal all the way, but it gets a little bit better, okay? You have no idea how I truly feel about you. Yeah, they coming in, but they're going to tell you, okay? They're going to tell you. Deceived, no trust. So somebody here deceiving you. I don't know who it was that I was picking up on here before, but somebody's deceiving the fuck out of you inside your own home. Oh, they already did. You could be dealing here with a Gemini. Oh, you got Gemini in your chart, okay? I love you. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you later, my loves.